Hey guys, I've been seeing a lot of these on YouTube where my boyfriend does my makeup. I don't have one of those. I have makeup, not a boyfriend. So I figured that I would do a new kind of challenge called My Dad Does My Makeup. That's because so, she has one of those. I, Dang. Do, I do have one of those. I'm a little nervous about it. I want to say a huge thank you. Not as nervous as I am. <laughs> a huge thank you to our friends at OMG. Oh my goodness, is definitely how I'm feeling about this. But OMG stands for Optimum Minimizer Grab and Go. Great facial products. And I'm going to be wearing this so that my dad does not get makeup all up in my braids. So where's mine? You don't get one. Good morning. Good morning. Good, 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 good morning. Again, welcome to the Jamie Gray Show. I don't want you to see my face because I'm still wearing the full makeup from when my dad just did my makeup, which is probably the only reason why you're here. If you look on the screen, you'll see all the time to see what else is happening tonight. I don't care if you skip ahead, go for it. I'm fine with that. Grab a snack, grab a onesie because this is the Jamie Gray Show. This is the Jamie Gray Show. Now I'm gonna turn the LCD screen away so I cannot see what he's doing. While he's doing it. So just now how am I gonna see what I'm doing? You just walk through, you look at me. Oh. Okay. All right, we got a brush. Don't know what it is, but it's a brush. Another kind of brush. Another kind of brush. And I got a pencil sharpener. This is gonna be fun. Okay. So I believe what I need to start with is a little paintbrush here. And uh, this little paintbrush, I thought it twists, but it doesn't. But I think we uh, wipe all the dust off. <laughs> You get all the dust off the face, cause you know if you have dust behind the makeup, it brings about clutter under the makeup, and then what ends up happening, you look like a popcorn ceiling. <laughs> a popcorn ceiling? Yeah. See? Okay. Oh, well, no, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, popcorn ceiling. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, man. I'm stuck. <laughs> I don't know if I put it on my finger. Q-tip. I know I messed that up. Um, it looks like it. It looked pasty. <laughs> Looks like it looks it. A uh, combination of oily skin. That's it. I got it. Um, <laughs> do we pour it onto the brush or do we dab? So no dab, do you? Uh, I think this goes on the cheek. Here we go. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't want to put too much. Too much would be too much. That didn't sound deep, didn't it? I know. Such a so here, we put this on like so around the cheek. All right, here. <laughs> Such a weird experience. And uh, now I know why I'd, I took painting when I was in kindergarten. No, what was the name of that grade again? Uh, kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> Not kindergarten, kindergarten. <laughs> and so, oh, I don't mm. think that was right. We got a little bit too much on that side, oh. so I gotta, <laughs> I gotta really kick it in gear. Boy, I tell you, I hope this comes out right. <laughs> Otherwise, you're not gonna look like who you were at the beginning of this tape. <laughs> Had to make sure you get eat nice, even strokes is very important, oh. so that the makeup will blend in with the texture of the skin. Otherwise, everything will look uneven, and unbalanced, and it look like somebody just fell off the tomato truck and ran on the street. <laughs> so what you gotta do is make sure it's all even and nicely balanced. If you cover it up, that's what makeup is. Make up. You get to make up what you want. I don't know what I'm gonna make up, but I'm gonna make up something. Make up as I go. As you can tell, I'm doing a good job, Emma. I? I know. Great go ahead, job. clap your hands. That's it. All right. Thank you very much. Now, put that aside. Foundation is set. Oh, we're done? Uh, down with the foundation. Okay. It takes a while to construct. You know, when you're building, you build it from the foundation, but it takes a long time to build. You can't just jump out there. Because what ends up happening, if you don't have a solid foundation, it will fall. Duh. You know what Jesus said? Okay. <laughs> Eyelashes. That's we need some eyelashes. We need something to do with the eyelashes here. The eyelashes. Those are things that go blinky, blinky, blinky. All right. The eyelashes. All I know to do is don't blink. That's all I know. Okay. Don't blink. I learned this in makeup school. Okay. You don't blink. That's possible. You did not go to makeup school. Uh, yeah, I was on TV one time okay. and he took me behind the stage <laughs> and I was in the dressing oh, room that's true. and I went to makeup school. Uh, I didn't want to wear the makeup and I did not wear the makeup, but I watched them. They showed me everything. They took they they took the brush and they did 
It was just like this. They they went on there and they, and they combed eyelashes. That's, that's all you got to do. Just brush and comb the eyelashes. That's, that's poor. You, you get the brush. Well, I'm sorry. You get the comb. The the pull out the lashes. You pull out. If you pull out the eyeball, that's okay too. Yeah, uh, it, it's it. We'll put that back. But worst thing that ever happened is that you have hair that's just like it's all over the place. Oh, your eyeballs and your head. It's all. Terrible. So when you blink, I know this is the female thing. You got the little female blinking going on. I don't know what that means or what that's supposed to do, but I saw it on TV. Can you do my brows? My eyebrows. I got that. I got. I got. You don't like draw them on and make them thicker. Uh oh. I believe the pencil is for that. That is the objective of the pencil, and voila, the pencil sharpener. Yes, the pencil sharpener. You learn a whole lot when you're in school. Kindergarten taught me a whole lot. I learned how to sharpen a pencil, and here I am, 51 years old, sharpening a pencil. And I used to apply pencil to the paper. My teacher told me don't write on anybody. <laughs> I don't know why she told me that, because here I am writing on somebody now. What's an eyebrow? You know what an eyebrow is? Eyebrow. It's eyebrow. Brow. <laughs> brow. Right. If you grow more hair on the eyebrow, then you can't make a distinction between the eyebrow and your head. We're just going to pencil it in just to make it just a little thicker. Just a little thicker. That's all. <laughs> that's all right. Good. It looks good. All right. I'm so I glad it looks good. I wish you had a mirror. All right. I'm glad I know. All right. Now, uh, you can do blush. I, I'm, I'm not blushing. <laughs> Now, I don't know if it's called blush or rouge. Uh, what do you call it, young people? Blush. Blush, okay, all right. I don't know what I can actually use for blush, but I do know how to improvise. <laughs> Roll it out just a little bit. This is a crayon. This is, a, this is what you call a fancy, high-glorified, high-polluting crayon. That's all it is in a little, see, it's a little silver container. They put in a crayon inside the little medical container. This is what you do when you don't have blush or rouge in your stash. You just take a little lipstick and you just rub a little bit in on the cheek, on the foundation. Because remember your foundation already is built. And you just do it, I think you do a little rub in uh, like this. Because you want to make rosy cheeks. That's the whole objective is to make rosy cheeks. Whether you Caucasian, Asian, or you are of any persuasion, what you do is apply the rouge on there or the blush in order that when you smile, it is just glorified. So even if you're not smiling, you're blushing. Let me see, I'm gonna use this finger to rub some out. Use this <laughs> finger to rub some out. All right, see? It, it made you smile. I see you smiling, I see you, I see you, I see you. This is good. Final touch is a lipstick. And we want to add lipstick in order to produce glamour. So just when she walks into the room like, bam, whoa! You first of all apply to the bottom lip. And then when you apply to the bottom lip, okay. you tell her to apply the top lip to the bottom lip and do a little mm, 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 mm. <laughs> So now you apply the, to the bottom lip. And we definitely don't want her to look like a clown. So you're saying you like, like, don't look like a clown right now? No, not right now. Oh. No. What you want to do is take the lip and a mm, mm, oh, mm, like mm, mm, mm. Yeah. <laughs> I need to fly a little bit more because we didn't, we, we, the little mm, mm, the little mm, mm. mm, mm. I know that's, that's German. That's German. <laughs> What's the translation into English? Translation into English is, you didn't know what you were doing, neither did I. <laughs> And therefore, you did it wrong. I made you do it wrong, so we gotta make it right. So we still have opportunity to make the right or make the wrong, make it right. And in German, that is mm mm mm. mm mm Okay. If you go zigzag all over the place, then you look weird. I can taste right. it. Uh oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. She did it. That's great. Did awesome. That. Magnificent. Yeah, perfecto. We, we finished. In the house. We did it. Yeah. OMG. Oh my God. Thank you, Dad. Hey, I am the man. Do your daddy-daughter makeup challenge and hashtag the Jamie Gray Show. Share it with me on Instagram, Twitter. I'd love to see how your dad does your makeup. I'm going to see my face for the first time. I'm so excited. Oh, damn. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> what did you do to my face? Um, oh, man. My eyebrows actually don't look that bad. They look good. What is up with, like, <laughs> why does my lipstick you move. Not, not go to the top of my lip, you didn't but it goes to the bottom. Oh, it 
like all the way up in the bottom of my lip. Cause that's where I started. And why time. is there no foundation up here? Uh. I gotta go show mom. We are halfway through the daddy daughter makeup tutorial. Now you get to meet my sister Morgan and see some of her awesome artwork. It's called Spotlight, casting the spotlight on cool people who do cool stuff. This is Morgan. She's my older sister and she loves to paint. This is my inspiration wall. Just looking at different colors I've been working with lately and it sort of sets the tone for the next round of postcards that go out that I send to people for free. Because for me, a huge part of making is giving, right? When I make something, I think about who do I give it to? Like who does, who does this piece of art belong to? Which is also how I think about my music. Tell us about this painting right here that I want in my room so badly, but apparently I have to pay for it. So this painting started as like a lot of my paintings, just really experimenting. It's funny because this is actually turned sideways. You'll see that there's a bit of a mountainscape here. And that's originally what I started off this piece as. It's like, I'm gonna paint this blue mountainscape. It looks different to everyone, but to me, that's a lot like life, which is what- Tell them, girl. Inspires my art. Preach. You start off doing something <laughs> one way, and it turns out completely differently. It serves as a visual reminder that, hey, life is not perfect, but at the same time, it is full of color, and it is telling a story. That's so beautiful. Let's talk about that piece and all of these over here. Keep going. This one? Keep going. This one? Yes. Look, that's not even finished. Oh. What, do you, what do you like about it? It <laughs> reminds me of when you lose your dog oh, and you I put see. like the things and you're like, come if you if you know where my dog oh, is. Yeah. Like you can like pull the tab off Aww, with my number. It's really it's just, sad. <laughs> it's like, it just reminds me of just like wow, I don't know, just like hometown, <laughs> local community. Wow. Okay. <laughs> but that's one of the cool things about art is that um, you know it, people see different things in it. Can you show us the process of making something? Because I see this huge thing of water. Yeah. So to me, it looks like a bath that you could give your hands to. Yeah. Most of what I paint is actually small postcards like this. This is. Honestly, my favorite storyteller supplies. Size Sign up, you guys. Paint first and then add the words later. So, I've been sharing different quotes and different song lyrics of mine um, on social media for a while now. So, um, that's primarily what where I get the inspiration for the text. I use a lot of different techniques for my postcards, but this is one that I use using nail polish. This is just empty water, by the way. <laughs> it looks <laughs> like it's. It's pretty blue, but She's the water, the water, the water clear, is clear water is the term. I said empty I like water. it. I was gonna let it pass. Empty water. Wow. Okay. Mm. And a little pink matches my pants. Kind of. Since I want to leave room for text at the top, I'll just kind of stick this in here. Boom! Comes out oh, like that. Oh, that's so good. So then I just let that dry. And um, typically, I have like a lot of parchment paper on the floor. It's not really the way it's supposed to be right now, but. Well, it's a little bit more organized than yeah, that. Yeah, this is, this is what happens when a little sister comes to shoot. You yeah, know. it was not, it's not quite the full, not the full effect. So, can I do one? Uh, yes, you can. She never lets me touch her art, you guys. <laughs> it's only because the so camera's for your show, I guess I'll be nice. Hey, stop, that's enough. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Yeah, that actually does look really cool. All right, whoever gets this one in the mail, made by Jamie Grace. Made by Jamie Grace for the Jamie Grace show. I think there might be a lot of people that are watching this that are like, okay, I want to get these with inspiring yeah. quotes on them. How can they find out about Storyteller Supply and connect with Morgan yeah. and So the easiest way to find it is by going to my website and you can just click on Storyteller Supply on my website. So that's Morgan. HarperNichols.com. So just Don't my forget. whole name. If you Google me, it's the first website that comes up, MorganHarperNichols.com. That's where you can find out more about this project and you can get some, I can't talk. <laughs> That's where you can find out more about this project and you can get some art cards in the mail. Ooh. These are the envelopes that they come in. So yeah. using a similar Ooh, technique like that I showed with the nail polish. This is my finger. Um, this is what you will receive those cards with quotes um, in. So every single envelope, hand painted, nothing comes out of here like, like a blank envelope. Everything comes out of here full of color, full of life to inspire you to tell your story. MorganHarperNichols.com, you guys. Today's Spotlight. So obviously I'm still feeling beautiful and I left my makeup on because I'm just really proud of this look. 
Thank you so much, Dad, for doing my makeup. I really do appreciate it. I honestly think that dads do their daughter's makeup like this because it'll, um, you know, keep the boys away. Actually, my dad, like, actively looks for his own son-in-law. He and my mom will, will, like, text me when they're at IHOP and be like, We've got a waiter. Hey, hit me up on Twitter and Instagram at Jamie Grace H. Join my mailing list at jamiegrace.com. I would love to share the latest information with you. You can join Team JG by hitting up patreon.com slash jamiegraceh and find out how you can win a drum set that I used in the happy song lyric video. I love you guys so much. I will see you soon. Ugh, I miss you already. Oh, I forgot to tell you to look on the screen. Look on the screen in a few seconds and you can see how you can watch other episodes and subscribe to my channel and all of that fun stuff and don't forget to do the dad dealer makeup challenge and hit up instagram and twitter tag me in it at the jamie gray show hashtag the jamie gray show at jamie gray stage hashtag i love my friends hashtag sandwiches are the best hashtag this is my dad he's super cool hashtag my granddad does my makeup hashtag my uncle does my makeup hashtag i love carpet hashtag horrible floors are cool too hashtag what up do you want me my friend i love you guys so much and i will see you soon i miss you already bye <laughs>